Welcome to your 10-day trend where the pressure remains pretty high and as a result the weather will remain largely dry but the position and shape of the high pressure will kind of dictate what flavor weather we have over the next week or so. As we record, well the big picture looks like this with the jet stream high in the sky driving well to the north of the UK, arching over us and across much of northern Europe allowing a big area of high pressure to dominate across most of mainland Europe. Actually over the next couple of days we'll start to see another centre of the high develop just to the east of the UK and uh, keeping the weather fronts at bay and that means it'll stay largely dry with the high sitting here and the winds going clockwise around high pressure the air continues to waft up from the south so relatively mild air relatively moist air and trapped under the high pressure as you'll have noticed, there is an awful lot of cloud. So we're not going to see a great deal of change for the next couple of days. It stays pretty drab. Most places dry, the cloud thick enough here and there, particularly over hills and coast for a little bit of drizzle. But equally with a southerly wind, it's areas to the north of hills that tend to have the drier conditions and the brighter weather. Northern Scotland poking out into some sunshine for the next couple of days, Thursday and Friday as well. And as a result, it'll be warmest here too. These are the temperatures compared to the average for the middle of November. Most places around or a little bit above, something a bit milder further west and the highest temperatures with the uh, brightest skies across northern Scotland, helped by something called the fern effect. The winds bouncing over the mountains, drier air to the lee of the mountains and warmer conditions here as well. For more on the fern effect, you can check out Aidan's deep dive from Tuesday. Lots of information in there about it. OK, what about the future into the weekend? Well, we still have high pressure sitting to the east of us and the jet stream pushing way up to the north. But out in the Atlantic, things are changing. The jet stream is coming more east to west and it is trying to shunt some weather fronts towards us. The first couple will kind of just fizzle out, bringing a bit more cloud and a few spots of rain into the west. But the jet stream does look likely to pick up this area of low pressure. But instead of whizzing it across the UK, it's going to nudge it up to the north. This weather front, though, will bring perhaps a little bit more in the way of rain as it crosses the country during the second half of the weekend. So the isobar is closing together as well. So it will get a little windier across northern Scotland also. But that weather front won't produce a huge amount of rain. And certainly the ones before that will produce very little in the way of rain. This is the uh, projected six hourly rainfall totals for Friday into Monday. And you can see most of the UK as we run through the time will stay dry. A bit of drizzle here and there over the hills across the south and we'll see some pockets of light rain in the west as those first weather fronts trickle in during Saturday. A little bit more as that weather front does move in across Scotland during Sunday. But Again, as it pushes south, uh, not a huge amount of rain. So for many, the next five or six days will remain dry. Just as I say, a little bit of drizzle here and there over the hills. And also staying pretty mild. These are the temperatures compared to average for Saturday. Many places around, maybe a degree or so above average. But Western areas, a little bit warmer than the mid-November average. And Sunday... Well, many more places will be above average. So quite warm on Sunday, particularly if we do see any brighter skies. Now, the maxima on Sunday, probably quite early on across the parts of the north, because that weather front will be moving in during Sunday. It'll introduce slightly cooler conditions for a time across the northern half of the UK. But then look at this. The high pressure builds back in through... Sunday and into Monday and this high will then dominate our weather for the early part of next week and warmer air wafting back further north at least for the early part of the week. So temperatures are going to be above average through the weekend particularly so on Sunday and Sunday night and for the start of next week almost back to square one with high pressure dominating the jet stream pushing up to the north arching over the UK taking the weather systems and the weather fronts with it up towards Iceland. Now I say we're almost back to square one, but now the high instead of sitting to the east of us is sitting much more across the UK. So the winds are gonna be fairly light, particularly so in the south. And so this high pressure looks quite a lot cleaner, as we say in meteorological terms. So that means it, it's there's not as much moisture in it, so there won't be as much cloud. So a much better chance as that high builds in for the early part of next week of actually seeing some blue sky. 
rather than grey skies. So some sunshine likely early next week, particularly so on Monday. A fresher feel, at least temporarily, and that'll partly be because at night without any cloud, obviously the nights will be quite a lot colder. The night's going to be very mild for the next few nights, but early part of next week with that cleaner high, not as much cloud around, the nights will be turning colder. So a greater chance of some night frosts and, of course, some fog patches as well. So that's the early part of uh, next week. This chart suggesting that high pressure will continue to dominate throughout next week. This is the multi-model probabilistic pressure trends. Many models, when we use the ensembles and look at all of the different uh, projected outcomes, the red suggesting high pressure. Blue is low pressure, but there's not a lot of that on the chart. Very red indeed. These are the previous computer model runs. They're the dates going forward. You can see solid red throughout next week before turning a little pinkier towards the following weekend. But that would suggest high pressure is going to dominate close to the UK throughout next week. But um, as we've already seen, the position of the high is crucial for the for the type of weather we see. Sitting to the east of us, it's generated a lot of clouds. Sitting over us, it should at least temporarily bring some sunnier skies through the early part of next week. But uh, we can dig a little deeper and uh, look at the potential regimes within the uh, pressure pattern. And we've got eight different flavors here, eight different types of weather indicated. The dates are now going forward along the bottom here. And the different colored bars representing eight different flavors, with the orange and the reds more high pressure, the blues more low pressure. And uh, this one, this kind of mid-orange color, dominating for Sunday and Monday, that's when the high pressure is sitting right over the UK, likely to last into Tuesday as well. But as we go through next week, that diminishes the probability of that weather flavor, if you like, and this darker, reddy orange uh, becomes more dominant, actually more red, isn't it, uh, by the end of the week. Now, that's not actually suggesting high pressure is definitely going to dominate. It's suggesting that the weather patterns are becoming more stagnant, a negative NAO, which means the weather patterns are are slow moving. So that could mean that lower pressure is sitting over the UK. What's most likely to happen towards the back end of next week is that the high pressure will still be close by and still mostly controlling our weather. But instead of sitting to the east, as it is this week, or over the UK for the weekend early part of next week, back end of next week, the most likely scenario is that high pressure actually is building out to the west. And because the winds go around high pressure clockwise, if it's sitting here, it means the winds are more likely to be coming in from the north, and particularly if we do generate an area of low pressure sitting out to the east. This is the European model projection for next Thursday, just the deterministic model. But most of the models are in agreement that something like this setup will occur. Slightly cooler air then pushing in in this setup, and by the time we get to Friday, that high is still dominating but sitting out here, and the low pressure is getting a little closer, suggesting the winds could even start to come in more from the east or even the northeast. It's not especially cold air, but it is cooler and fresher air, and of course, at this time of year, that's going to feel pretty chilly with the winds coming in from the North Sea. So there are strong signals that it will turn a little cooler as we go through next week, as these box and whiskers plots suggest. Uh, this, uh, these are generated using the ensembles where you run the computer model many times. This is the European model run, and uh, this bottom plot showing the temperatures for London, the top one for Belfast, the maximum temperatures and how they compare to average. And you can see here on the Belfast plot, we're going to see those higher temperatures in the west for Sunday, quite a bit above average here before they do drop off as we go through next week. And it's a similar story, less exaggerated for London, closer to average, but still probably warmer than average for uh, Saturday and Sunday before that general dip as we go through it next week. The box and whiskers do get larger as we go through the back end of next week, suggesting more uncertainty, but that's fairly typical. You can see that pattern in there. They are both suggesting that things will get cooler as we go through it next week. So high pressure still in control, uh, but instead of the cloudier conditions this week, early part of next week does look as if we should see some sunshine before things turn a little colder and perhaps a little wetter as we go towards the back end of next week. The back end of this week offers something 
Very exciting indeed, because it's the return of the Weather Studio Live. That's only going to be available on YouTube, so make sure you hit subscribe. The Weather Studio Live will feature the presenters talking through the weekend weather, but we also want your interaction as well. So if you watch it live, you can ask us a question, anything you want to know about the weather. So don't miss that. That's this Friday, the 8th of November, the return of the Weather Studio Live at 12.15.